like, if you could, to describe uh, your strategic vision and, in particular, the strategic goals that frame this vision? Yeah. Let me go back and, and talk sure. a little bit about how we got here. Sure. You know, we, federal agencies, like every organization, have always had to do strategic plans. The strategic plan, when I became the NASA administrator, um, we always did it. We always produced it, usually on time, and it meant nothing to the workforce. Uh, you know, m many of them didn't even know we had a strategic plan. And as they told us when we asked the question, they didn't see themselves in the strategic plan. And that's because, you know, OMB provides mm -hmm. the, the basic framework for strategic plans. It tells you what has to be in it and everything else, but they don't help tell you how to do it. Sure. And they don't tell you how you build it so that it's meaningful to the workforce. And we actually went through the discussion, I mean, in-depth, sometimes heated discussion for months on end with our leadership team. And that's all the Senate directors, all the associate administrators of the four uh, big directorates, and all of the officers in charge at, at, at NASA headquarters, which is a group of about 30 people. And we asked ourselves, first of all, Okay, who, who are we doing this thing for? Who is the tr strategic plan intended for? There are several groups. One is Congress. Mm -hmm. One is, uh, is the administration and OMB. And they spell out, like I said, the format, form and, and format, uh, the American people, and, and probably most importantly, our own workforce. So mm -hmm. we said, how do we make this plan meaningful to the workforce? How can they see themselves in it? So our 2014 strategic plan, we selected three goals. And, excuse me, those three goals have to do with space. Uh, how do we foster the further uh, exploration and, and development uh, of space, deep space and on, uh, y using that to make Earth better? Uh, how do we focus on this Earth? What, how do we emphasize our stewardship responsibility to this Earth on which we live and then the third goal was related to people. Um, you know, how do we get more effective utilization out of our people? How do we take care of them more? So those were the three broad areas in which we did it. I already mentioned what our vision was. So we, we chose, it's not required, but we chose to have a vision for the agency. Some people like it, some people don't. Most people don't like it because it doesn't have aeronautics and space in it anywhere. <laughs> but our, our vision essentially says we reach for new heights to reveal the unknown so that what we do and learn makes life better for humanity. Uh, pretty simple. We, we, we argue all the time, is that sufficient? Mm -hmm. Does it mean anything to us? Most people say they can figure it out. Um, so, you know, having one, I think, is better than having none at all. Absolutely. And then we have a mission that, that goes under that, that goal, and that's trying to drive advances in science and technology and engineering and aeronautics uh, through the efforts that we do. Um, so, so that's what our strategic mm -hmm. plan was trying to satisfy, living up to that vision, making that vision real for our employees, and then uh, pursuing the mission that we have because we're a mission-oriented organization. And then having everything fit in our core values. Uh, any organization needs something. They need a soul. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it that guides you? My core values, my personal core sure. values, um, ever since the first day I, I came into the Marine Corps, have been honor, courage, and commitment. And they, so those are the core values by which I try to live. And, and that's everything that I do, I try to do it with integrity. Um, I try to take courageous stands, which means sometimes you have to tell people things that they don't want to hear. Um, you have to put your job at risk, mm -hmm. um, and, and I don't mind doing that. In fact, I pride myself in, in being able to do that. And then the commitment is, is multi-phased. It's commitment to the family, commitment to your, if you're a person of faith, commitment to your faith, however that may be, commitment to this nation, because every single one of us in civil service takes the same oath. Mm -hmm. And that's an oath that's very simple. It's an oath to the to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And a lot of times, I'm a political appointee. Mm -hmm. So when I say I don't always see eye to eye with some of my fellow political appointees, I think people in government who become political appointees confuse uh, where their loyalty is or where it should be. All of us, political appointees and regular civil servants, take an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Nowhere, nowhere in that oath is there any allegiance to a person, uh, president, Congress, anything. And, and I take that very seriously. Um, so so I, you know, I try to make sure that I use my core values. The core values that NASA has, it's easy to remember because it's sight. 
Oh, uh, it is. It's, okay. it's safety is always paramount. Safety okay. is number one. Integrity again, going back to to the marine. And I didn't I didn't think of these anyway. But this <laughs> it's came, great. This uh, that works really teamwork. nice. Teamwork. How do we get uh-huh. get everybody together, okay. pulling together in the same direction as a team, and excellence. Mm-hmm. How do we maintain? How do we establish ourselves as the best in the world in what we do, and how do we maintain that? So so sight, mm-hmm. so safety, integrity, teamwork, and excellence. And so the strategic plan needs to support the vision, uh, make it real, needs to support uh, the three goals that we chose mm-hmm. in execution of NASA's mission. Um, and, and that's how we came up with it. We, we sent it out. It just came out recently, yes. as you mentioned. Um, it's posted on the NASA website, so anybody anywhere in the world can go and read NASA's strategic plan. It's not that, it's not that long. Uh, and hopefully it's clear when people read it, and and we talk in in specifics about how those three goals go down into subordinate objectives, and and on down. When we write appraisal, appraisals, performance appraisals mm-hmm. on our people, uh, every one of the what we call critical elements of a person's uh, performance appraisal, we try to tie back into uh, at least one of the, the goals and, and, and objectives of the strategic plan. So when you say, that doesn't, I can't relate to mm-hmm. the strategic plan, we try to tie their performance appraisal critical elements right back into the strategic plan so they see where, okay, that does apply to me. Yeah.